Here we go. Right, okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I think the best thing to do would be to just say your names uh, from left to right. So we'll start with you, sir, on the left. On the regional hall. Yes. Doreen Hall. And, and Margaret Beveridge. And you are all siblings? Yes, yes that's right. Um, are you all around the same age? Well, the eldest. Doreen's yeah. oldest. Doreen's oldest. Doreen's oldest. Doreen's oldest. Okay, so what can you share with me about your experiences growing up in World War II? Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, very frightening as a child, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Well, first of all, they, they evidently tell me I was a year later than I thought. I thought mm. I was five, but I was evidently six. <laughs> oh, right. Because so you came the year of your life. Yes. Well, you lost on Robert. Yeah. I, lost, yeah. I don't know what happened to me anyway. <laughs> I thought I was five, but these say I was six. Okay, so um, you said it was terrifying. Um, what did you find terrifying and uh, uh, take bombs. you through? The bombing. The, the planes coming over and then waiting for the bombs to come mm. down. Mm -hmm. um, we, were, uh, we were one of eight at the time. Yeah. Was it eight? No. Was it? Uh, I think seven. Seven. Mom was expecting Mom meant I'd have more children when we yeah. went. Mm -hmm. But uh, come back to another two. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, Mom decided to send four of us to Wales. Uh, uh, Bert was the oldest brother. He passed away uh, when he was forty-nine, and he went with us. But he was thirteen at the time, mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, we all went, uh, I'll, if I, I remember right, I can't learn how to do it again, yeah. but, uh, yes, I can remember. Me. Remember going on the coach, we, we, we made, I think we made our own way to the uh, station. Station, the say goodbye yeah. to the house, I think. Uh, mm. yeah, we went to Station Road first, and that's where they were, Station Road Harbour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from Station Road Harbour, we got on a coach and went to Snow Hill Station. Right. And we had a man in charge. Can you remember his Mr. name? Mr. King. Mr. King. Mr. King. Mr. 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 He was the teacher from Hartville, and uh, he was in charge of about 25 of us. And his wife. Yeah, and his wife. And, and 25 of us. Yeah. Uh, he was in charge of us, and he kept us in order altogether. And we got on the train there. Some say 16 hours to Wales, but I think it was about 10 hours myself. Mm. Uh, what, why? Pardon? Why do you think it was 10 hours? Does it just fly by or...? Uh, it, well, because the time we got there, we, I think we left about... I'm sure we left about half past nine, ten o'clock, didn't yes, we? Yes, we left quite early. Hmm. Yeah. And, and then about, then I should say it was about 10 all. hours travelling. We were on the station a long time. I yes, we were. Yeah, yeah, so. And we had the yeah. you know. You know, you've seen pictures of it. It was wartime, but of course... Yeah. Uh, Bombing was, uh, had been going on, mm -hmm. and of course, lines might have been damaged and we was held up yes. yeah. to let other trains through, you know. Mm. But the train was full of people being dropped off all the way to Wales. Mm. We were the last drop off in the uh, Hiddewine village. It was a station then in South Wales, really just above Aberdeer, on the way to Swansea and Brecon. So, were you, when you were evacuated, were you all kept together? No. no. Okay. So we tell me separate. about. We were separated. See, so mother, tell me about being separated. Yes. Doesn't well, our mother well, really wanted well, us to all stay together. together. When we got there, they all came. Um, all the Welsh people came and just picked us out. Picked them out. And yeah. we were the last. Who was the infant school? Four four nobody wanted four kids. Nobody no. wanted no. four, especially. And nobody wanted together. two boys. Mm -hmm. And yeah. But. We got mm -hmm. uh, settled with a very nice old couple. Yeah. We were very happy there. But of course we were homesick, mm. and then Rich went. The we next day, to spend the night in the hall, didn't you? No, we uh, nobody wanted us to, Bert, the no. oldest, and myself. Mm. And what happened is that uh, the building officer, Mr. Jenkins, I know him because he taught me to Paul School, and uh, he took us to this one house in Pen uh, Pen Road in the Hillwood, and he. Uh, dropped us off there and the woman took took us in and she wanted us but uh, she was speaking in Welsh as well uh, as well as a bit of English mm -hmm. and uh, give us something to it, I think a bit of bread and jam I think it was to it mm -hmm. and he took she, she took us off the bed and uh, we was woke up about 
I don't know what time it was, the husband came off afternoon shift from the, the Tower Colliery in Hillborn. Mm. And uh, we don't want to be, he said. I mean, in Welsh, it was all in Welsh. It was, it was a, a complete foreign, we've never heard Welsh yeah. like before. Um, it was just a foreign thing. language to us. I mean, it was, I was scared anyway, because was, and I was only seven, he said. Mm. Or eight, I was eight. What do I eight of? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, what's happened? In the morning, he didn't give us any breakfast, they shoved us to next door. Mrs. Holt, a marvellous lady she was, and she had seven boys. <laughs> and she couldn't put us up, but she gave us a marvellous breakfast. Mm. And then Mr. Mr. Jenkins came, after a bit of, uh, I, think, I think they was on the phone, I'm not sure now, but they found, told me they didn't want them to, us to. And uh, he took us to a house in uh, Merthyr Road, in Little Wine, and it was three spinsters, mm. sisters, all sisters, and they took us in. There's another gentleman who wants to. I've got my own paralyzed. Um, yeah, there you go. So, okay, just have a seat here. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Bye bye, Greg. And they took us back. Uh, after a time, we got settled in our different schools. Uh, Bert and Doreen went to the secondary modern. That's right, that they did. But yeah. after two years, everybody had to go back to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. And what happened, Bert, in the, before the two years were up, my brother, because he was 14, was sent to work in the coal mines, taking the slag out of coal on the wash, uh, wash you know, town colliery, hill mines. Right? And he, he, he was quite pleased with it, but it's Dad, quite Dad said he can't stop there, he got a job for him in the, green, in the greenhouse at the Botanical Gardens. Mm. He's a foreman there. So, well, he was a former gardener then. So, uh, after this happened, Mar Margaret and Doreen, they went back to Birmingham after two years. Himself, I didn't want to go back. And then mum and dad agreed that I could stop. So I stopped a further four years. Mm -hmm. And a lot of uh, four other Avac workers did stop. And mm -hmm. Ryan Crawford has passed away a couple of years back then. And uh, a couple of other uh, lads did. And they became, stopped with the, uh, the foster parents. Mm -hmm. And they sent them to grammar school and to college and the mom became a doctor mm -hmm. and he's a okay. perfect professor somewhere there. So you were separated, that was your story, so what okay. were your stories about being evacuated? Well, Mark was only a wee child of... Mm. Well, I was six, I don't know, I thought well, it was five, I was six, she was five. And I couldn't read or write, so she must have been quite young. She was very upset, naturally, like, mm. you know. Mm. And um, I had to look after <laughs> naturally because I was a bit older. And we had lovely days, didn't we? Yeah, they were really, people. really lovely people. Um, there was an elderly couple, Mrs. Williams, and there was a, a daughter mm -hmm. and her husband living there. Mm -hmm. And we had a lovely time. We had beautiful food. We never had such lovely food, did we? <laughs> and uh, they had a, like a, a small holding mm -hmm. with. Um, Chickens didn't they? And we used to look after them. As you, uh, it was a big house called um, a big, yeah, big, yeah, big house, yeah, big grain chase, I think it was called. That's it, the grain house, yeah. Or uh, Brecon House, Brecon House, because it was on the Brecon Road, yeah. And uh, it was quite a big house, very posh house, to what we were accustomed to. And there's a big gate, double gate, and they had a dog. And of course, the dog didn't know me. Mm. And I was going to a different school to Margaret because the, um, the, the junior school at the um, town, mm. at the, the village, I should say, Herwine, yeah, I had to go to Aberdeer. So I had to go on a bus to the school. Mm. So, of course, the dog didn't know me. Mm -hmm. And the ladies used to go, the lady used to go and fetch Margaret from school because she was an infant, mm -hmm. very young, in Herwine school. Mm -hmm. And of course, he attacked me. Hmm. He didn't know what I was. Hmm. But I screamed, it tore me courage to remember what I was terrified. Hmm. But he got to know us, his name was Nell. Do you remember? Beautiful dog. Yes, really. you're nice dog, yeah. Lovely yeah. dog. But uh, that was just one incident, but they were very kind to us hmm. and they fed us very well. What would they feed you? Because uh, uh, oh, fresh cause eggs. Rationing would probably be less country in like he a country was a village. Baker. He was a baker. You got lucky then. He was a baker. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
And uh, we had fresh bread, and it's nice, lovely old chef. Lovely, yeah. Yes, I used to work for him. Mm -hmm. So did you stay in contact after well, you came back? Did you ever write or talk to them again? I went with, okay, we well, went to uh, the old ladies got a bit possessive with the boys. Yeah. And we, we was only allowed to see them once a week, and it was, I think, a Friday, mm -hmm. or something like that. As um, the, the elder brother is always in, out in the streets, enjoying himself, you know, but, mm -hmm. and we said, these are the, that we couldn't go out to see because we was in bed, supposed to be in bed, mm -hmm. looking through the window in the summer, you so. This We really had a happy time there. And then, uh, Margaret got a bit homesick and that, and got a bit few Mar problems. Tell the truth, Margaret went and bed she, in she, she, Well, she's only young. Yeah. And uh, she wanted her mum, naturally. Yeah. And so the evacuee people, this, they went to the evacuee people and they decided to move us because it was too much for the old lady and the old man and her daughter as well to do all the washing, naturally. Mm. So we went then to um, a couple who hadn't got any children, but she wasn't very nice. I may as well tell you the other street. In Trinity, yeah. In yeah, in Trinity. Yeah. It was a little way from our brothers. Yeah, and uh, like a little bus ride. But um, her husband was very nice. But she used to turn us out in the cold, didn't she? She was horrible. Mm -hmm. and I can remember saying she was like a witch and she hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember that. And I used to go and see them because I stopped there six years. You remember everybody did, yeah. right? And I used to go and visit up till, till she passed away. She went by and Mrs. Williams. Yes, yeah. yeah. And uh, I used to go every year. Yeah. We went for the weeks so, or fortnight's holiday to Wales. We used to solve there, didn't we? Yeah. Every yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, we always went back to Hidwine, and I still do go back there now. Hmm. That's interesting. When was the last time you went back? Uh, two years ago, though. Oh, so really recent. That's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Has it changed much? We would have been back before, but I was is it, ill left here. And, uh, is it still a village or is 